man, just the amount of memes that are going around Twitter right now during this whole situation is just wild. And look at the memes. Look what they are. You got this meme right here. I said I'm not afraid anymore. Oh boy, I can already see it coming. Yeah, that's my reaction too. Keep that bitch away from me. Then we got Verbal Ace Hideaway Car. Oh my gosh. Somebody actually made a remix of it? Or is this already like a remix on YouTube? This is kind of this is kind of sick. This is kind of fire. All right, hello guys, welcome back to another video. So it looks like there's been an update to the verbal A situation. I covered this a few days ago on the channel. And essentially in my other video, I talked about verbal A. He is a beatboxing cartoon battle YouTuber, I guess. And he has over 5 million subscribers here on the platform. And the reason why I talked about him in my first video is because recently he started blowing up on Twitter. And the reason why he blew up on Twitter was because he did something very down bad and degenerate. Yes, guys, you'll never guess what he did. He allegedly paid $50,000 for someone to make an explicit animated music video of him and Charlie Moonstar from the animated cartoon series Has Been Hotel. Now you guys are probably wondering, well, why would he allegedly spend $50,000 on an animation and the animation happened to be like two to three minutes long? Like why would he stoop down that low just because he might have a little fetish for a character in an animated cartoon series? Well guys, for that one, I really don't have an answer because I can tell you right now, there is no way you're going to see me spending over like... I I don't even know a hundred dollars on like some dumb fetish animation that I want somebody to make for me and I mean I wouldn't even be doing that in the first place because it's like why if you want like something to I guess jack off to like it's as easy as a google search going on the hub or other places I don't often condone doing this but like when it comes down to this situation would you rather pay fifty thousand dollars for somebody to make an animation for you with your favorite cartoon character that you happen to have like some sort of like fetish with or would you rather spend fifty dollars a month or something like that for some girls only fans i can tell you right now if i had to pick between either one of those well i just wouldn't pick either one but if i had to pick one of them i'm paying for the only fans no way i'm giving up fifty thousand dollars when i could be using that money instead to put a down payment on a house or to buy a new car or i mean if i feel like i don't need anything right now i'll just throw that money into investments and make it more than it originally was like there were definitely better ways to spend your money over spending like fifty thousand dollars on some dumb animation like with this guy's channel you would expect him to be over a millionaire so maybe fifty thousand dollars isn't really like the most amount of money to him but like still dude i really didn't cover this in my last video but something else that he was doing after he allegedly bought this animation and paid fifty thousand dollars was around one month ago he made this video called help save cartoon beatbox battles now in this video he talks about how cartoon beatbox battles is apparently dead Hey, what's up, guys? It's Verbal Ace, beatboxer from outer space. And some of you may already know that Cartoon Beatbox Battles is currently dead. This is not because of the YouTube algorithm, but YouTube itself not sending you guys notifications when I upload new videos, regardless of the notification bell settings. Like, what do you mean it's dead? One month ago, Skibbity Toilet Cameraman Beatbox, 238,000 views. Skibbity Toilet Commander Beatbox, 87,000 views on it two months ago. FNAF Moon freaks out on Verbal Ace, 262,000 views. Courage vs. Scooby-Doo Cartoon Beatbox Battles Auditions, 543,000 views. Even this short video right here that happens to be 1 minute and 3 seconds long, called Crazy Weird Beetlejuice Beatbox Writing, has 107,000 views on it. Like, maybe instead of making videos claiming, oh, uh, Beatbox Battles is dead or something, because people don't turn on their notifications or whatever, like, how about you actually make more of these cartoon beatbox battles? And on top of that, make them the same quality that they have been for the longest time. Don't try to downgrade to like a puppet somewhere. I saw you downgraded to like a puppet. Like why? Don't do that. Do the same thing you've been doing. The same thing that got you successful in the first place. And maybe you won't have to worry about views depleting and beatbox battles apparently dying despite the fact that every one of them has almost over 100,000 views per video. Like shit's not dying. And if we take a look at your channel as a whole on Social Blade, bro is making pretty much 10 million views every month. Now, just to put that into perspective for you guys, this channel that you're watching right now, Brion, my channel, my views are up right now too. This channel has gotten around 
1.2 million views in the last 30 days. And that's a lot for me because usually I get like 100,000 to 200,000 per month. And for anybody wondering how much you're making off of that per month, if you're making over a million views per month, is around a few grand. Now, if we were to estimate how much Verbalace is making off of his channel, uh, disregarding like sponsorships or like donations or like merch, just from ad revenue with 10 million views, he's probably making around 25 to 30 thousand dollars off of his channel per month like that's how much he's making now once again that's an estimate so it's not gonna be like perfectly correct but i think it's safe to say how about this he's probably making more than twenty thousand dollars a month and that's just off of his youtube channel i don't know if he does anything else that's not including the sponsorships i don't know if he has sponsorships not including his merch if he still has merch i heard he does have merch but like come on i think it's safe to say that it's not dying i don't think beatbox battles is dying but you can save cartoon beatbox battles by becoming a part of cartoon beatbox battles i know there are content creators out there with channels that need more subscribers so i am looking for nine animators and content creators to help create a segment in luigi's beatbox luigi's beatbox has been divided into nine different parts with each part consisting of 10 seconds which means you guys whoever you are will have 10 seconds to animate or create their portion of the video. This could be stop motion, puppeteering, 2D animation, 3D animation, live action, whatever you guys do to make creative content, I would like to see it. There will be an animatic video of your section provided to you for reference. So if you guys want to improve your part with backgrounds or a crazier scenario similar to what you've been given as a reference, it'll help you win the contest. Yes, contest. Now, I'm not really too sure who's going to want to be a part of this. After the news has came out that you spent $50,000 on an AMV that has your favorite cartoon character getting on top of you in the bed. But I guess good luck. But at the same time, even if creators did want to do this, this contest that he has going on, like, are they just not getting paid or something? Like, what is going on here? Because I could tell you right now, there is no way me, I wouldn't do this in the first place, but there's no way that me being a content creator, I am doing this after what happened with you being exposed for buying something really dumb for $50,000. And what makes it worse was it was allegedly to fulfill your fantasies, your sexual fantasies. Like, it's so weird, dude. It really is. And on top of this, not paying the people who are going to be doing this and who are going to be appearing in your video. Like, let's just be honest here. It's probably going to be like some little ass kids making videos to be in your video. Like, I don't know, dude. Maybe you should just pay the editors and get back to making the real cartoon beatbox battles because 100% your audience is literally just kids. This is not only a way for me to help other channels get subscribers but also a way for us to come together as a community to continue cartoon beatbox battles and beat this algorithm bro you've got to be kidding me he, he's blaming the algorithm as if the reason why cartoon beatbox battles is dying is because of the algorithm but it's not dying the reason why your channel is uh i i guess quote unquote dying is because you post all this random shit and you don't post like your cartoon beatbox battles like you post this extra shit like patrick beatbox but the voices keep changing or you post like behind the scenes content that people don't like as much as the normal beatbox battles. But I mean, besides that, just looking at this, your channel is not dead and cartoon beatbox battles is not dying. Like I shouldn't have called your channel dead or dying because it's just not. And I mean, if anything, the algorithm is promoting your content. So stop it. Just stop it. And something else that I just realized that he did in this video was he contradicted himself because in the beginning of the video, he said, oh, it wasn't the algorithm that was uh, killing uh, beatbox battles. Battles. But at the end of the video, he's like, oh, the YouTube algorithm was actually uh, killing the, the, the videos, you know, like which one is it? Now, besides Verbalace's YouTube channel, I got recommended a video from a Verbalace fan. And I really think it's safe to say that they're not too happy about this situation or the fact that Verbalace allegedly paid $50,000 for this kink animated music video. But I'm really not going to be going over that part in my video. I'm just going to showcase the part where it looks like this fan actually happens to be in Verbalace's Discord server. And it looks like this this is Verbalace's only response towards this situation. I'm not feeding into the negativity and I'm still working on cartoon beatbox battles and puppet beatbox battles. I've talked to professionals, personal friends, and other big YouTubers about this whole thing and every single one of them advised me to not respond. I asked why because I really want to put out a statement to clear the air. They told me regardless of what I have to say, once people decide who they think you are or they have formulated opinions on you, any statements I make regarding anything negative 
directed towards me is just going to create an argument or cause even more controversy because people have already made a decision of who they think I am as a person. It's sad, but even though all of this is happening, I am extremely calm and doing well. I can't explain why, but I feel like I am protected and I know that everyone who honestly knows me will not buy into all the crap that's being said about me out there. I'm still going to keep making videos for my fans, but at the same time, I cannot respond to any questions about the negative stuff out there. At the end of the day, everybody 100% has the right to choose what they want to believe in, and it's not my place to tell them what to believe. I love all of you. There's still more videos of cartoon beatbox battles and puppet beatbox battles coming up soon. I will keep you guys posted. Now, okay, I just have one question with this response, because it is a response, regardless if you want to say that you're making a public response or not, because quite frankly, you gave us a semi-public response. Now, you didn't go into detail with anything, but basically what you're telling us is that you're not going to say anything about it and you hope that it blows over. And I don't see how your fans would like this. Like this guy who showcased the response in his video. I watched this whole video and he is just, he, he's pissed off. He's not not buying into all the crap because he knows you. He knows what you did was degenerate and not the smartest thing to do. And maybe you shouldn't have done it. Like even if I was a millionaire, you would not see me spending like a little portion of my money, like my life savings, right? On something so stupid and something that pretty much has no value to it. Now, I know that's just my opinion, but like you could have easily went to like Google or like OnlyFans or like, I don't even know, Pornhub or something, dude. But no, you spent $50,000 on something stupid and then you got exposed for it and people are going to be clowning you for the longest time. Now, when it comes down to people having opinions on you and opinions that are just not going to change, I mean, dude, honestly, if we even want to say this, you messed up. And I feel like people would understand more that you made a mistake or maybe you just didn't. But let's say you made the mistake. I feel like they would understand more if you came out and you addressed it and you literally set the record straight. I don't think being silent about this is really going to help you. And I think you should come out here, maybe make a video about it, or at least make like a public statement. This is not a public statement as far as I'm aware. It was in your Discord server. I don't really care if it's linked in your, your video description or anything like that. I'm not going to be going into it. And I know many other people are not going to be going into it. So I wouldn't really consider that being like a public response. I feel like it would be more of a public response if you were to put it on Twitter or your YouTube channel or something. But yeah, like I said before, sitting there and doing nothing about it and continuing on without addressing it is probably not going to help you and people's opinions are not going to change because I mean, I guess I could understand though how it could be a mistake. Like you're horny, you need something to wank it to and then you hit up these people. Your fetish happens to be uh, Charlie Morningstar. I think that's her name from Has Been Hotel. You do something stupid. You spend $50,000 on an animation. The editors of that animation are having a really good time because you just gave them $50,000 dollars to not do fifty thousand dollars of work and then somebody exposes this to the internet and then you get backlash for it and whatnot and then you make a response you tell people that's what happened you were down bad the wrong head was thinking at the time and i feel like people would understand that more especially more than just not saying anything and not addressing anything so yeah anyways verbal ace if you're watching my video i hope that really helps you out you need to make a real response you have to make it public and i know people are claiming that people's opinions will not change but i think you look way worse just not responding to this than if you were to put a response out. Now, I guess with that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you happen to enjoy this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as doing so will help promote the video and the algorithm. Thank you guys once again for being a member to the channel. Your support towards the channel means the world, and I appreciate you. Now, it looks like I don't have any super thanks donations for today, so I will not be responding to anybody's comments in my video. But if you do want me to reply to your comment, just leave a super thanks down below. It's essentially a donation attached to a comment, and I will will respond to your comment in the next video. Now, with all that being said, my name is Brion, and I will see you in my next video. Peace. Shit it all out.